Hey guys and welcome back to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel. Today we are getting ready. We have found a track that is open. It is not in my state, it is not in the state north of me, it's not in Kentucky, it's none of the tracks I've ever run. So we are going to go to Brainerd, Georgia and hopefully run. I got a camera guy lined up. Uh, hopefully he can get some good footage. Uh, we've picked up quite a few things and that's what we're going over today. Our new race rig setup. Okay, we've got Susie loaded, everything's here. I'm going to go through what we've got, what we've done, how we've expanded this setup. COVID has been actually fairly good to me. I've made quite a substantial amount of money off of this between flipping stocks and a few other things. We're set for the season. Yee -yee. All right, guys, and here she is. We got Susie loaded up right now. The charger's dropped and it's running up to the house. Uh, but that is something we don't have to worry about anymore. Okay, she's dyno tuned. Uh, the burnout in the intro was killing the last of the tire. We have gotten now a Michelin Power RS. Uh, it's supposed to be a competitor for the Shinko hookup. I had a hookup ordered, but uh, they ordered a Stealth. I wanted a Stealth 003A. They ordered a Stealth 003, so it's not an Ultrasoft. This is comparable to the Ultrasoft, so it should be a pretty good tire. We're going to see how it hooks up. Uh, most of the uh, pro street bikes are running this tire or a hookup. A lot of them are going to go to the Drag Max this year. Uh, nitrous bottles filled, oil levels good, tune-ups good, brand new brand new uh, plugs, clutches set up. We should be ready to rock and roll. I do need to flash a tune onto her quick, which we're going to do here in a minute. I'll start up the uh, new toy, get the laptop out here and flash the new tune, and we should be ready to rock and roll for the track. Going on to the new toy, the yeah, bendy plate. And no, my hitch is not hooked up all the way. I literally just pulled it across the yard. Uh, the Booza came with a stand, which conveniently enough works a whole lot better. We got the air compressor that we bought for the arm, and we just picked up a generator. So, I have a generator for the track, air compressor, I need to get a blower still, and we'll have our full power setup. Uh, hopefully I can continue to be successful with my gambles on uh, COVID, and we're going to try and get an enclosed trailer this summer too. We get that and a window AC in it, we are going to be in heaven at the track. This should be able to power a window AC, a mini fridge the air compressor, three blowers, and what else did he say? A battery charger. He had a whole list of sh he was running on this thing, and it ran great. So this came from a uh, no prep racer. He runs uh, Street Outlaws and a few other different things. Uh, he went up to a 220 setup in his trailer, so this is 110. We're going to switch this up, set it up on ours. The truck is loaded up with... All the tools, air hoses, a billion other electrical connectors, riding gear. These are booza, so these don't matter. Tools, a spare helmet in case something happens, which I doubt. Uh, we got a power inverter up here just in case we need it. Yeah, we're pretty well set up, guys. Uh, Susie's running freaking top. If you couldn't tell from the intro, she is running like a raped ape. That was a third gear start burnout. Hey, we didn't do first, second, third. No, that was just starting in third. She just blew that tire off. And in the end, that tire was gone. I'll include some pictures of that in the end of this video. Uh, just wanted to make a quick short video showing what we're doing. We're still here. We're still getting ready to race. Uh, let's touch on the booza quick. I do not have the pocket rocket loaded. I need to build a front wheel chalk fort to hold it up and put down some... Uh, Securement points, but that will be riding along on the trailer with Susie The booze is chilling in here uh, If you aren't following me on Instagram, you wouldn't know but uh, turns out this has a salvage title which really irks me because I paid a little under book for it But nowhere near low enough to make up for the salvage title So it is what it is at this point. I'm trying to negotiate with them, and it's not working uh, Power Commander 5 is on the way Power Commander ignition module pair delete and a new Michelin battle axe for the back. And that's pretty much all we're gonna do for this. Uh, really, 
I'm not looking to make huge gains. I'd really like to get 160, 170 horsepower out of it, which isn't much, considering they dyno typically around 154 wheel. 150 to 154 wheel. If I can get 170 wheel, I would be giddy as hell. The biggest thing is the drivability is a little rough on it, and I want to get that smoothed out with the Power Commander. So, yeah, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. I got to get some C16 from the track. And that's basically it. I just need to get C16 from the track, and we're ready to rock and roll. So after work, I'll come immediately back to my hometown here, pick up cameraman, and we are off to the races. Hopefully we can get you guys some good footage. I really need to paint these bolts. They did not do so well with the humidity. I need to get this thing into climate-controlled storage. That is the next step. This whole trailer setup as it is will go into climate-controlled storage. When it's in the storage, I'll lay an extra board down throw it on the kickstand and let it rest there. Thanks for watching the Ringer 57 YouTube channel, guys. Uh, content's been slow. It's been kind of crummy. COVID slows things down. But we have made some advancements. We've spent some money. we spent some serious money. Uh, probably close to $8,000 in the last uh, month. <laughs> but we're still ahead on bills. I'm 30 days ahead on every bill. I got another check coming that I don't even need to spend right now, so I'm probably going to throw it further ahead on bills and use it for racing. That'll be the start of our race fund. Hopefully we can pick some grudge races if this thing tests right. Okay, the air shifter is still untested. The nitrous is still untested. So we're going to go out there and make a motor hit, hand clutch, foot shift. Uh, then we're going to air up the air shifter if we don't have to make any adjustments. Air up the air shifter, set that parameter, hit it, see what happens. Uh, if it works... Hell yeah. Uh, we'll get some times, see how things are doing, run a data log. If the data log looks clean, we'll turn the bottle on. Flip that there switch and see what she does going from 127 brake horsepower with I don't know what torque, but it's got to be serious considering how well it blew that tire off, to 261 brake horsepower with more torque. Yeah, you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the long hair because it's about to get longer. See you later.